Eight years ago today, the idea that founded LiveG was created. Since then, we've come very far from our humble beginnings. Uh, over the past year alone, we've got our first prototype uh, for the Project Prism smartphone, and we've built an operating system uh, that targets both desktop and mobile. We're going to be looking back over the past year of development of projects in and around LiveG, and some of the history of LiveG, and the highlights uh, looking back over the past few years. LiveG can trace its heritage back to its very first program written on the 30th of November 2014, as chronicled in our fifth birthday leaflet we published in 2019. In 2014, some very basic programs were written, but they were nevertheless written under the LiveG brand. Our early concepts for de uh, desktop environment development were shown in LiveG Elixos. Uh, though it wasn't a fully-fledged operating system, being only an environment that ran on top of Windows, uh, it laid some early groundwork where some core design uh, ideas would later find their way into modern LiveG OS. A few years later, in June 2017, our domain name, LiveG.tech, was purchased. Uh, this led to the development of a few online services under the LiveG brand, in addition to the LiveG app framework, that would later become uh, what we now know as Adapt UI. In late 2017, we got to work uh, to build on a Linux distribution for the Raspberry Pi, uh, making our first solid step into the world of operating system development. Uh, it used web apps hosted on the LiveG website as its primary app ecosystem, much like how LiveG OS today is uh, designed. Uh, those apps uh, were developed actually with the LiveG app framework. In March 2019, we started to explore the world of portable electronics uh, with the G-Held, uh, a concept for a handheld computing uh, device. It had a touchscreen and was based on the Arduino platform, uh, and software uh, written for it uh, was actually built in our own LiveG assembly language that allowed us to abstract away some of the complexities of the platform, in addition to being emulatable, uh, which is quite useful. We then released our second generation of Adapt UI in 2019, uh, following its rename from the uh, LiveG app framework. Uh, it was designed to work with our JavaScript library management system, Zapper, uh, and this let us create some uh, concepts for our website, uh, which were never published, but contributed design-wise uh, to today's LiveG.tech website. During early 2020, an early LiveG Sphere web browser was developed, uh, which was based uh, on that second generation of Adapt UI and run on Electron. This led to us developing our second prototype Linux distribution for the Pi in June 2020, uh, and this ran Sphere as the main means of running web apps, uh, in addition to aspects of the uh, desktop environment as a whole, uh, like the Greeter, which is now known today as the lock screen in LiveG OS. Um, we then overhauled Adapt UI again in March 2021 uh, to produce our third generation, uh, which is extensively used today. Uh, this overhaul was to make developments uh, significantly easier by relying on ECMAScript 6 modules instead of Zapper, uh, and also made the user experience uh, much smoother than the previous one. Um, in late 2021, we dabbled in development of the G-Cool, uh, which is our smartphone concept project that would uh, be the precursor to Project Prism. Uh, it was planned to use a Raspberry Pi Zero W uh, and a 5-inch display, but due to the limitations of some of the hardware, such as you know, the thickness of the components in that display, uh, we opted to not use that design in the end. Um, this led the way to January 2022, uh, which is when LiveG Project Prism uh, started, building a smartphone prototype based on the Pinephone. Uh, development of our desktop environment, G-Shell, uh, was also started for the uh, LiveG Prism smartphone. Soon after, in February 2022, uh, the Prism's prototype design was finalised, and the development of G-Shell uh, advances with a working camera in March. Uh, in April 2022, we announced uh, Project Prism to the general public in our first episode of LiveG Showcase touching upon many aspects of the device, uh, including G-Shell, uh, as well as some of the thoughts on accessibility and how the software is developed. Uh, during 20, uh, July 2022, um, we worked to get G-Shell running on the desktop to make our plans for LiveGOS to be a multiple, uh, multi-platform operating system uh, to become viable. 
uh, we announced uh, this development in our second episode of Liberty Sh uh, Showcase. Uh, and also during this time, the Liberty website is overhauled quite a lot <laughs> uh, and is built with the uh, third generation of Adapt UI uh, due to high demand. Excitingly, in our third LiveG showcase uh, in August 2022, uh, our first alpha LiveG OS releases were made, uh, along with improvements to G-Shell uh, that go hand in hand with LiveG OS, uh, such as the out-of-box setup or OOBS system uh, that is started when booting uh, LiveG OS for the first time. In September 2022, uh, many usability improvements to G-Shell were made, uh, including a tab interface for apps like Sphere, uh, this brought G-Shell more in line with other existing desktop environments and also included functionality that could potentially outdo those other environments. Um, also during this time, a uh, LiveG Proton desktop uh, computer project is conceptualised um, with early ideas from existing details about the LiveG G-Desk, uh, which is the old name for the Proton. During tw uh, October 2022, uh, there's work on minor supporting projects such as the uh, Typeset Engine and Formulaic. Uh, typeset Engine uh, is uh, an embeddable code editor uh, designed to work well with AdaptUI uh, and AdaptUI's Astronaut comp uh, component framework. Um, and Formulaic is an expression passing engine uh, that tends to, it tends to be used in software such as a calculator app, for example. Uh, we also launched our weekly LiveG Look Ahead meetings uh, in October 2022 that lets public contributors uh, have more of a say in uh, what is planned for LiveG. Um, we've had some great talks so far uh, about some of our upcoming plans, uh, so it's well worth a watch of our previous episodes on YouTube. This brings us to November 2022, where there is an ongoing expansion of the LiveG OS platform uh, so that it can be run on other platforms such as Pine Phones and Raspberry Pis. Uh, to support this expansion, um, we started hosting our own Debian apt re uh, repository for keeping uh, packages uh, vital for running LibGOS uh, on other platforms. Um, alongside this, uh, more work has been done uh, on the user experience and configurability of LibGOS uh, and G-Shell that contributes to a more useful operating system uh, for when you release more OS builds. That's about it in terms of some of the highlights over the past eight years of LibG, <clears throat> as well as the development of our projects uh, over the past year. We're grateful for help and support given uh, by many people uh, over the past few years, um, and for those who are looking to contribute to LibG in some way, you can join us on our Discord server, uh, or you can even donate to us uh, to support our projects on Open Collective. Uh, links to those are available at the bottom of LibG website, uh, LibG.tech. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, what's going around the corner for uh, the next year um, of LiveG development. Uh, but until then, uh, thank you for watching and happy birthday to LiveG. See you soon!